In today's interconnected world, cybersecurity has become a top priority. With increasing threats, how do professionals ensure they've identified and mitigated these risks? The answer lies in threat modeling. Threat modeling is a structured process to understand what could go wrong, quantify the impact of each risk, and determine how to mitigate them to protect IT resources. One of the most widely used and foundational threat modeling methods developed by Microsoft is STRIDE. STRIDE stands for six categories of threats. Each letter in STRIDE represents a potential threat. The first one is spoofing, impersonating another person or system, violating authenticity. To mitigate this risk, strong authentication mechanisms like digital certificates or multi-factor authentication to verify user identities. Second is tampering. Modifying data without authorization violates integrity. To mitigate this risk with vigilant file monitoring and stringent input validation. Third is repudiation. Denying an action and making it impossible to trace it back to you. Violating non-repudiation. Counter this risk by maintaining robust transaction logs and enforcing digital signatures. Fourth is information disclosure. Exposing sensitive information and violating confidentiality. Protect your confidentiality from information disclosure through encryption and access controls. Fifth is denial of service. Overloading or disrupting services, violating availability. Mitigate this risk by implementing traffic filters and load balancing, ensuring uninterrupted service. Sixth is elevation of privilege, gaining unauthorized access to higher level functions, violating authorization. Implement the principle of least privilege, a strategy reinforced with timely system updates to counter this risk. In summary, STRIDE stands for six categories of threats. Spoofing, tampering, repudiation, information disclosure, denial of service, and elevation of privilege. Now let's see how to use STRIDE using the Microsoft Threat Modeling Tool. You can download it for free from the Microsoft website. To effectively use STRIDE, one common technique is to create a data flow diagram. This allows you to map out how data moves through your application and identify where each of the six categories of threats may occur. Drag all the relevant components of your IT system in the diagram to get started. Once you have all the components now establish connectivity between them by dragging the data flow connectors and selecting a protocol of communication, such as HTTP or HTTPS. After making the connection, create a trust boundary between the internet and the internal system. Once your data flow diagram is ready, now click on View and select the Analysis view to perform the threat analysis. This will show you new windows for the threat list and threat properties. Here you can address or classify threats based on high, medium, and low. Also, you can change the status threat based on your analysis, such as needing more investigation, mitigated, or not applicable. Once you address all the risks, you can generate the report and save it as HTML file for later review and sharing with other stakeholders. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.